Yo, what up? My name is Don, and today we're going to be checking out the first track off Lead From Within's album, Era. The first song is called Clarity, and the Era album itself came out in 2018. And there have also been a lot of people in my comments saying that the Era album is their favorite album from Bleed From Within, so I'm excited to check it out. Let's hop right in. As we go back, I'm not sure what to expect. If they got the same style, they changed it up, but... Here we come with that epic layering. Yes. make bad music? Yo, this is sick. Yes, boys. Absolutely filled. I just don't. I just. Oh my god. Holy cow, man. This is cool. This is really cool sounding. Very, very cool. Yeah, that's very cool. Is this one of those tracks that leads into... No, it just fades out. I thought it was going to lead into like the second track. That's really cool. That's really cool. That breakdown section, kind of like three quarters way through the song. Um... Okay, so I feel like I'm going to be making a lot of comparisons to um, Fracture, their Fracture album, and um, 
the Shrine album, just because those are the ones that I recently reacted to, and also the ones that are most fresh in my head. And uh, while this is pretty much the lead from within that I'm used to hearing, um, that breakdown section, I felt like, like how I want to say it is, I feel like from this album to Shrine, I feel like they've really grown into themselves and their current style. And like, you can tell kind of where it all came from. I know that, you know, the Wikipedia was saying that they went through a, the rhythm guitars change. And this is when, um, Steven Snev joined the band, right? Um, he had replaced Martin Evans. Stephen Jones had replaced Martin Evans. And so, you know, I believe it's Stephen on this entire album. Um, the song is sick, though. This song is sick. I can't wait to listen to the rest of the album. I know I'm already getting ahead of myself. There's 13 songs in the album. But uh, let's go through this again. And so I can just pick out some of my favorite parts. Because I think that that was really sick. It was really melodic, but still very groovy. So let's let's get into uh, clarity here again. I really like the ambient opening here. You know, I'm I'm really a fan of that. Almost in any song, just setting the soundscape, setting the mood, setting the tones. You know, setting the emotion of the entire sound bed that's to that's ahead of you. Um, I remember reading that there was a bit of a, you know, through reading the wiki and stuff like that, there was a bit of a vocal style change that Scott went through, um, which could have even happened in earlier Leap from the albums because they've been active since 2005, I believe, uh, which is quite a long time. Um, I think I can hear subtle changes in his voice just from even just listening to this song and the Fracture album and the Shrine album. And that's why I want to say that, like, you really, I feel like the whole band grew into themselves. There are some things for me, again, going from the, you know, the most recent uh, albums backwards, I feel like there's a lot of elements that I'm very used to, like, like the groove, just the layering, but it's like they just, you know, kind of evolved how much they do all of the things they do on their recent albums, which is what a band should do. I, th I just think... You know, I gotta pay homage to how fantastically I think they did it. So this chorus section, I well, I couldn't tell if it was just Scott singing alone and doubling his voiceover and doing some cleans and doing some um, just adding some some grit, some gritty vocals behind that, or if it was Steven. Uh, Steve Jones, if it was him just doing kind of a lower vocals, because normally, I mean, at least on Fracture and Shrine, I'm used to him doing a bit of a higher register um, with some of the vocals he does. So, I... It would be interesting to see a live performance of this. Uh, I didn't find a music video, that's why we're not watching a music video. But, uh... I like what the cars are doing. I like the cars just kind of dancing around that da -da 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 -da. like there's just a lot of feels like there's a lot of variations of sort of the same riff and I mean that as a good thing the guitars keep it super groovy without without being monotonous at all which is like you know I, I think it's a staple of, of lead from within the guitar work is incredible Ali's drumming is, is absolutely incredible. They're all incredible, but I mean, like, just to focus on some of the other parts of the band for a second. David Proven's basic, uh, bassist, his bass playing <laughs> is fantastic. Yeah, so this part that came in, just, just was a really, you know, it's like, it's like they take you up all those layers of building it up, and then it just explodes back on you. And I'm like, yeah, dude. So this part right here, I feel like this breakdown would hit harder in their Fracture, you know, um, 
<laughs> sick use of the, of the whammy bar there. Um, or even on their Shrine album, I just think they got really, really good at layering and making sure that their breakdowns hit you with in the most visceral, brutal, you know, gut-wrenching ways. Um, and that's not to take anything away from this song, it's still really good. I just think this feels like an earlier version of everything they've become, and I'm like, that makes me appreciate this even more. Very cool, dude. Uh, by the way, I love this artwork. I'm looking at this artwork. I know that uh, Dave Proven, the bassist, um, at least I think I know, it says in the Wikipedia, I'm pretty sure that he does uh, some of the artwork for the band, if not all the artwork, the album artwork. Um, dude, absolutely sick. Absolutely sick. That's a really good song. Honestly, as I was talking through it, it felt a little bit shorter. But no, that's a really good tune, dude. That's a really good tune. I would love to know uh, your guys' thoughts on this song and what your favorite songs are from the uh, era album as i'm working my way through it there is 13 songs so it's going to take us just about half the month to get to get through all the songs but i'm looking forward to it honestly i'm looking forward to the the journey and kind of seeing kind of getting a better idea of how they evolved to the point of shrine and shrine is was released 2022 so it's already two years old so i mean uh i believe that's true at least let me just make sure shrine is uh yeah shrine, shrine was 2022 march 3rd 2022 so um, at least that's when they announced it and it was to be set to be re set to be released the 3rd of June, 2022. So still 2022. Um, I can't wait to hear what they're working on. If they are working on anything, I know they're touring right now. So, you know, maybe a bit of a break afterwards, regardless, I can't wait for what's next. I know I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. I just really love this band. So would love to know your thoughts on this song clarity and, uh, what your favorite songs are off the album. And if you like this type of content, as always, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.